I just wanted to make this short presentation for the uh, purpose of identifying uh, what people call sea beans and plants that come out of the uh, pelagic sargasso seaweed on the east coast of Florida. <coughs> and I'm illustrating vines here, or shooting vines, I guess. Um, what you're seeing right now is Entata gigas. This is the monkey ladder vine. They're called sea hearts in the sea bean world. And um, right next to it is a possible Mecuna species. Not sure what the lineage is. But this just gives you a rough idea, of, or hopefully a good idea, of uh, the morphology. Give you a little uh, visual ID. <coughs> A lot of these Entata vines are probably two weeks old, um, and I'll show you how fast these things grow. This vine right here was planted six days ago. You can see it sort of training away from this oil palm seedling here. And in six days, move the banana leaf, that's gone about three feet. So you can expect a high rate of growth if you do uh, germinate these things. This, this one's about the same age. Let's see, there it is. So, again, Entata gigas, Macuna, kind of a messed up leaf there. And I'm going to go over and show you some of these I can't identify. The seeds look similar, and some seeds are quite disparate of what you see in the books. Uh, this, again, is about six days old, just planted in the ground, probably four inches long when it was set in the ground and in six days it's already come up a couple feet and I've got some vines that were started earlier in the summer this is September and uh, they've got quite a bit of growth on them they train all the way up into these uh, strelitzia here and they do branch off uh, one thing I'll point out that I would suggest you can see some damage in the tissue of the leaf that's from me putting fertilizer on it so don't put chemical fertilizer on these or do it sparingly I guess in the jungle they don't get a lot of food or nutrients so go ahead and use that as your rule of thumb it's all a learning curve for me I don't know much about the culture of these plants but here's another set that's been growing all summer trained up into that bird of paradise there's a few others out there in the yard that I've got going that have been going for several months. I'm hoping to see flowering. I don't know if they're Monesius or Dioecius. I'd love to be enlightened about that. If anybody knows these vines better, that would be something worth knowing because Florida has a subtropical summer that lasts about eight months, but we have about four months of uh, warm temperate winter conditions that can kill these things. Although given our bad winter of 2009, 2010, uh, a couple of these things actually pulled through. So, again, these are probably either Macuna or Dioclea, Macuna slonii or Urens, I'm not sure. I, I don't know the species, but pretty close on the genus. Uh, there's a book by uh, Blair and Don Witherington that's good on Pineapple Press. I think it's, it's a, a guide to Florida beaches, but he has a nice section on um, on identifying these sea beans that come in.